Have you ever tried to count the many times that Jesus has healed you, cleansed you, or restored you by touching the core of your being? Do you believe that Jesus heals, cleanses, and restores others as well? Love and blessings to you all! I am Sister Didi Alarcon of the Daughters of St. Paul for today's Gospel Power. Once when Jesus was in one of the cities, there was a man covered with leprosy. When he saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground and begged him, Lord, if you choose, you can make me clean. Then Jesus stretched out his hand, touched him and said, I do choose, be made clean. Immediately, the leprosy left him. And he ordered him to tell no one. Go, he said, and show yourself to the priests. And as Moses commanded, make an offering for your cleansing, for a testimony to them. But now more than ever, the word about Jesus spread abroad. Many crowds would gather to hear him and to be cured of their diseases. But he would withdraw to deserted places and pray. Touch is perhaps the most powerful expression of intimacy. Thus, to be untouchable is to find oneself in a very painful condition of forced isolation. Such was leprosy in biblical times. It dehumanized the afflicted person primarily by cutting off that individual from family and the mainstream of society. It is noteworthy that Jesus responds to the leper's appeal first with touch, before saying anything. The touch of Jesus heals the leper's greatest pain as it assures him, you are no longer untouchable. No words can make that convincing. Only an actual touch can. God, by becoming one of us, touches and heals the core of our being. Thus, no one of us now must regard oneself as untouchable and cut off from the mainstream of life. God's compassion continually restores us. Let us pray, Lord Jesus, forgive us when our self-protective instinct drives us to treat some types of people as untouchables. Heal us of our prejudices. Amen. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all, to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition, 
in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. Saint Rock, pray for us. Saint Lawrence Ruiz, pray for us. Saint Pedro Colomson, pray for us. <music>